Welcome back guys. Um, today I thought I'd uh, give you guys a heads up on something that I came across. Um, I noticed that um, when I was downloading, especially ISO files, when I was downloading ISO files on my uh, computer that is connected to an ethernet cable, downloads were real speedy. Um, but downstairs, on Wi-Fi, even though I have the latest and the greatest, um, the Wi-Fi uh, download speeds were much less. And while I realized the reasons for that, um, I wanted to see if there was anything that I could do to um, speed those up a little bit. And I came across a download manager called XDM. <laughs> now. Um, it states that it can ramp up your speeds to 500%. I'm not seeing 500% increase. However, I am seeing a significant uptick in my download speeds on my computers that are connected over Wi-Fi. Um, so <clears throat> I thought you guys might uh, f find it useful. Now, it works with uh, Firefox. It works with Chromium, it works with Chrome. Um, so I'm gonna go through a couple things with you. It's pretty easy. If you're running Arch, it's available in Yawert, and it's under the name XDMAN. So you can install that and then follow the directions, which are really the same. Once you get the program installed in Arch, you have to configure the extension in your Chrome or Firefox browser. So let's take a quick look at that. Now, in order to install on it, the, there are instructions on this website. So if you take a look at TechMint, do a search, Google search TechMint, um, XDM, Download Manager, you'll find the instructions here. And to install it's pretty easy so I'm gonna install it on this particular machine now as you can see this is what it looks like once it's installed and these are the instructions which are pretty easy you need to integrate it within your browser so let's take a look at the uh, in install process this is Debian this is uh, my MX15 install. And I will go ahead and go through the installation process. This is a 64-bit. So I'm going to cut and paste this uh, wget command. And that shouldn't take long. Then I will cut and paste the command to extract the files and then I'm going to CD into that directory and then I am going to list the files and now I'm going to run the executable Okay, so now the executable is running. As you can see, there is a browser inte integration um, graphic that you can use to, and I'm going to minimize that, try to make this as visible as possible. So I'm going to use, since I'm running Chrome, I'm going to use the Chrome extensions. There are Chrome, Mozilla, and other browsers. So they do have pretty much all the bases covered and this Chrome instruction also works for Chromium. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up another window <clears throat> and up in the address bar we're gonna type Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions and then we're gonna hit enter. 
now it says to check developer mode and that's right here so we're going to check developer mode so now it says to click on load unpacked extension and set select the folder below so I'm going to click on load unpacked extension now it opens a file browser you're going to go to your file manager you're going to open your home directory and there'll be an XDM helper file if I scroll down you see the XDM helper uh, it's actually a folder so let's click on that and then click open now your download is configured your download manager is configured for Google Chrome that's how easy it is now I'm gonna close that out I'm gonna close this out so now if I want to download a file and I'm going to download a theme my new favorite theme I'm gonna uh, go through that on another video but I'm gonna show you how to download so if I want to download this theme I'm gonna download the dev file and I'm gonna select the file the solid now as you can see it's gonna open up the new download manager and where you can select the location and I'm gonna click on download now download is complete so it's as easy as that it's the extreme download manager very easy to configure whether you're using Debian Ubuntu um, Arch Linux it's available pretty much anywhere and um, I hope you get some use out of it I know I already have I'm using it on a daily basis so guys that is it I hope you enjoyed the video please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care